Hey, what is up guys? Anthony Bui Tran here with Solar Tradecraft and in this video I'm just gonna go and talk about how I contact my freight forwarder and connect them with my supplier so I can get my goods shipped from China, Korea or wherever they're coming from, Vietnam, to the US or whatever place I need it to go to. Alright? Alright, and this is how we do it. So I work with a company, you know, really closely for some of my logistics called Warcraft Logistics. They're the easiest one that I've worked with. I have two that I use, uh, but Warcraft Logistics is one of the two that I use. Uh, I'm mentioning them because they're more easy to use and they're USA based, right? So this means you can pick up the phone and call them and you can easily complain, bitch them out, or thank them for their service like I do, right? Um, Jimmy is one of the guys that I met during one of my LA meetups. I met him over maybe a year ago and you know ever since then I've done a couple shipments through him and his team, um, especially Stephanie and everyone has been super helpful and super easy to work with for me, right? Um, generally speaking, there is literally like zero headache that I have working with these guys. So you know if you guys are looking for a logistics team, freight forward, whatever, I consider them, ask them, you need storage, ask them, like, this is who I'm going to recommend to you guys. Um, as of right now, if things ever change and they screw me over, you guys will be the first to know about that. Uh, but this is their website. They also got a YouTube channel. Oh, look, it's me right there. Um, but essentially, I just want to go over, like, you know, like, when I contact them. So I contact them after, like, I know I'm placing the order and I understand, you know, like how many pallets I'm getting, like how many, you know, carts there are, how much weight it is, and where I need the quote to go, right? So, hey, if I need it to go to this Amazon warehouse or I need it to store at their warehouse facility or I want it shipped to like my warehouse or something like that, then I just tell them the address, right? So, basically, the easy, it's super easy, right? So, you can just go to request a rate. All right, so once, you know, you just go to request the rate and then the, this page loads, there's a video himself that he makes on, uh, or their team makes on like how to <laughs> get the shipment stuff info. So, you know, this is, you know, a shipment reference number if you want to have like your own personal way of tagging it. I like to do this, plus I actually like to add the name of the product so I know like which it is, which item it is. And you can also put the Amazon ASIN, right? That's what I like to do, Amazon ASIN or Amazon SKU, whatever works for you name email phone number city country all that stuff's really important for them too because i always forget for some reason that like most of my viewers are i just assume most of my viewers are from the u.s but in reality they're not when their cargo is going to be ready so whenever you think it's going to be ready by because this affects the price of the shipping right and you know quotes that they give you can be valid for only so long especially when it's q4 and q4 a lot of the prices go up for shipping so keep that in mind if you don't know the exact date right and don't be surprised if the prices change right but usually quotes are valid for at least you know a week to a couple weeks maybe two weeks out you know um, from when you get the quote if not they'll let you know if things change other than that uh, trade terms if you don't know the difference between EXW or FOB um, I highly recommend understanding that EXW is when they pick it up from their suppliers warehouse FOB is when they pick it up from the port yeah and so generally speaking if you can always get the EXW quote if you have a trusted freight forwarder like Warcraft Logistics because generally it'll be easier for you to get a better deal on pricing overall if not get a quote you can ask uh, Warcraft Logistics for a quote on EXW and FOB that's what I do for estimated total cartons right uh, you just put how many boxes there are right and that's what that means estimated total weight in kilograms no kilograms not pounds of all of it right and then CBM right cubic box metric i could be wrong cbms whatever it stands for but it stands for like how much like volume is like all of the products right because when it comes to shipping it's not only about how heavy it is but how big the item is right because when say they're shipping like a whole bunch of telephone poles that are really oh, not telephone poles but like fishing poles they're really long or something right so those take up more space than something like really heavy so generally like if you're contacting a freight forward, you're probably more, most likely doing something really heavy and you're doing sea shipping. So all the heavy stuff goes by sea, all the really light small stuff goes by air. Most of the time, air freight or air carrier or something, or air whatever, right? There's two different air shipments. I always forget, but basically, and then you tell them, you know, you want to ship by air or you buy sea, import duty costs, 
Okay, so this, right, uh, if you don't know the exact import duty of the cost, I found Warcraft Logistics to be very helpful in helping me figure all this information out. As long as you provide, you know, the name of the product, right, and the material of the product, you know, as best as you can, and pictures of the product, just describe the product as best as you can in general, you know, send them pictures of the product, and they'll, like, be able to help classify, like, what it should be. That way, you know, all the paperwork is legit, and you pay the right amount of fees. Here, you just put the address, you know, that you want. If it's Amazon shipping, you don't know what it, uh, you know what it is going to be like yet. Um, but they'll give you a quote in general for like this is how much it should cost to send it to Amazon's warehouse. But disclaimer: if Amazon decides to split, you know, your shipments into two warehouses, you know, like one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast, and one's more heavy than the other, like in terms of units then like your pricing is going to be different because one might be air one might be sea and then you're you know you might not get like a full container load going to one spot anymore so prices can change because of those situations so be aware of that going into it and you know don't blame warcraft logistics or refract forward blame amazon right because that's just how it works we have to play on amazon rules but 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 one thing that just uh, came to my head is that you want to keep in mind is that there is this option for inventory placement depending on what your margins are you can re you can ask amazon to reroute all your goods to one warehouse right and pay 30 cents a pop i believe right as of right now to get all the items placed to one warehouse versus shipping to two warehouses right and he can compare whatever the price is with inventory placement with your freight forwarding cost versus without inventory placement and it shipping to like two three warehouses and then you have to do the math but other than that you know like let them know if you want to purchase insurance i don't always do this i sometimes do that you know when an order is really big but i never had to use it you know so i don't really know when it's best to use it maybe when we're like doing a lot of expensive stuff if it's your first time importing, dude, they're super helpful and they'll uh, just let them know that, right? You're gonna need an annual bond and they can easily hook you up with that. I think it was like 250, 350, 450. I don't remember how much it was, but they hooked me up with that and made the process super, super easy to do. If you need labels on a product, you need inspection service in the US, they got you, right? What I'm trying to say is Warcraft Logistics has been good to me and this is why I'm making this video just to talk about my experience with how I use them and just how easy it is, right? So once you send this to them, in about 24 to 48 hours, they get back to you with a quote. If you have questions, pick up the phone, call them, which is the thing I love the most about them. So I call them every once in a while, bug them like, hey, what's the deal with this? But other than that, email support's great. They like have everyone tagged in it and they got a good system going and they're expanding big i think they just moved into another facility to just hold all their amazon customers and everything so their business is doing great i'm more than happy to bring you jimmy some business your way and if you guys you know have any questions or wondered who i use for my freight forwarding warcraft logistics is one of the two guys that i use and i highly highly recommend them and i am more than happy to recommend people because i know that you guys will get taken care of going through warcraft logistics other than that, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, have a good day and I look forward to hearing about what your experiences are like with Warcraft Logistics. And one more thing, if you guys have another supplier that, you know, a logistics fight forward that you think that I should be using, please let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll check them out. You know, different fight forwards have different quotes. So, but as of right now, Warcraft Logistics is one of the winners and, you know, at the end of the day, service is king. If they can make me like not think about the entire process of you know, like tariffs and shipping and box labels and all of that and I can focus on other parts of my business, I'm gonna go with them, right? Because they make the process super, super easy. So that's it. Later.